what's the interest of the Arizona RNC here in keeping, say, the out-of-precinct uh, um, voter dis ballot disqualification rules on the books? Because it puts us at a competitive disadvantage relative to Democrats. Politics is a zero-sum game. And every uh, extra vote they get through unlawful interpretations of Section 2 hurts us. It's the difference between winning an election 50 to 49 and losing okay, an election 50 to 50. Okay, thank you. My time is up. Huh. That was a lawyer for the Arizona Republican Party on Tuesday arguing before the Supreme Court, essentially admitting to the reason behind Republican legislators' various efforts to make it more difficult to vote. The court is hearing arguments over Arizona voting restrictions, which make it a crime for anyone other than a family member or caregiver to turn in another person's early ballot, and another that requires any ballot cast in the wrong precinct to be discarded, even if the person was eligible to vote. Meanwhile, over in Georgia, Republican lawmakers are pushing a new law that would require a photo ID for absentee voting, limit the amount of time voters have to request an absentee ballot, restrict where ballot drop boxes could be located and when they could be accessed, and limit early voting hours on weekends. And so, as we've mentioned, late last night, the House passed a measure that aims to combat such restrictions. The For the People Act, aimed at changing finance, voting, and ethics laws. Joining us now, member of the House Judiciary Committee, Democratic Congressman Mondaire Jones of New York. Also with us, the president and CEO of the National Urban League, the former mayor of New Orleans, Mark Morial. Thank you both. Congressman, we'll start with you. How, good morning. How important is this legislation that essentially should be headed to the Senate at this point? This is of foundational importance. Uh, we are, as you just described, uh, experiencing in many parts of this country a new Jim Crow, uh, where the modern-day Republican Party has as its project not competing on the merits of its policy ideas, uh, but the disenfranchisement of large swabs of the American electorate, uh, like Black and Hispanic voters in southern states like Georgia and in Arizona. And so the For the People Act is common sense uh, elections reform aimed at preventing the right to vote from being suppressed. It contains automatic voter registration, restrictions on voter purges, as you just described, public campaign financing so that we get better people elected to Congress who don't debate the need for $2,000 survival checks in the, wits, in the midst of the worst economic crisis since the Great Depression, uh, and of course, independent redistricting commissions so that QAnon conspiracy theorists like Marjorie Taylor Greene not coast to victory in general election contests simply because they have prevailed in their primaries. Mayor Morial, we heard the central objection pretty explicitly there in that clip with Supreme Court Justice Barrett when the attorney said, well, we don't want H.R. 1 to go through because it means we're going to lose more elections. This is a political question, obviously, and it's also questions of a political speech embedded in some of the criticism as well. From your position, from where you sit, why is H.R. 1 beneficial to the country? Uh, thank you, Willie. Thanks for having me. Because we're seeing a movement. I call it the movement of Jimmy and Jane Crow, the grandson and granddaughter of Jim Crow. And that's a massive movement to, if you will, place voter suppression on steroids at the state level. Because let's look at it, if you want to look at it politically, the Republican Party has not won the popular vote once since 1988. This is nakedly political. It's designed to suppress the votes of, uh, uh, of voters who are young, voters who are black, voters who are brown, and even older voters. And it is a palpable, well thought out, orchestrated movement. The admission by the lawyer before the Supreme Court, if that doesn't tell the Supreme Court that uh, Arizona's position is based on politics, 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 not on the law, not on the Constitution, not on common sense, not on fairness, not on protecting the right to vote, then I don't know what it takes. So H.R. 1 is a powerful step in the right direction. We also need H.R. 4, which is a uh, advanced version of the Voting Rights Act of 1965, because what's on the line is fundamental of democracy. This is all about the right to vote and ensuring that we're not creating an apartheid-like system in the United States. Uh, where only some people can vote, and it's so difficult for others to vote. 
This is anti-democratic, uh, and it is a move that has to be swiftly uh, rejected, and it has to be uh, aggressively combated. And Congressman, uh, the other piece of legislation passed, the George Floyd Justice and Policing Act. Tell us about it. This, too, is an important piece of legislation that the Senate must pass as well. We saw the, the greatest civil rights movement uh, since the other civil rights movement that preceded it happened last summer in the wake of uh, the murders of George Floyd and Breonna Taylor and, and so many names. Uh, and, and so we want the rooting out of systemic racism in policing through a ban on chokeholds and no-knock warrants, uh, a repeal of qualified immunity in the context of law enforcement, uh, training for these officers, who, by the way, should not be responding to mental health crises. Uh, it is no wonder that so many of those uh, situations have escalated where officers have not been trained to respond to the situation because they lack the expertise. Uh, and of course, no one is saying that all law enforcement officers are bad. In fact, no one's saying that most law enforcement officers are bad. But I think the American people writ large, especially when you look at the polling, understand that there's a real serious issue of racism and policing in this country. And it is unfortunate uh, that we did not get uh, Republicans to vote for this. And it's not for lack of trying or for lack of engaging in good faith. Uh, it is because we have a Republican Party that is not interested uh, in justice for any group of people in this country. Hey, thanks so much for watching our YouTube channel. You can follow up on today's top stories and breaking news or catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.